Hello, my name is Jack Wallen, and I'm here once again with a two-minute drill. Today, I want to talk about dialogue tags. Urgh! They are the bane of existence for both readers and writers. Now, what is a dialogue tag? Very simple. A dialogue tag tells the reader who's speaking. That's it. It really is it. That's all they do. Now, unfortunately, a lot of writers, especially young writers and new writers, overuse dialogue tags. But how do you avoid them? Let me show you, because I have a really easy trick. Here's an example. I can't live like this, Olivia said. Or, Olivia turned to Nathan with scorn in her eyes. I can't live like this. You see, I didn't use said at all. However, you could still tell exactly who's speaking, and on top of which, you add a nice layer of emotion to the moment. So really, the simplicity of this is all you do is you embed your dialogue into action, or intention, or motivation, or narration. It's really that easy. And when you avoid those dialogue tags, you avoid your manuscript, your story, from becoming repetitive and cumbersome because no reader wants to read a book that's filled with dialogue tags. So, when you're going back through your manuscript, okay, this is important, make sure you see every instance of he said, she said, or any related type dialogue tags and you get rid of them, every one of them, and you embed that dialogue into the narrative. You don't want any dialogue tags, okay? Now, there might be instances where you can't avoid them. Or can you? With a little work, remember, you are a writer. Words are your business. So take the time and improve your work exponentially by getting rid of dialogue tags. Your readers will thank you. Thank you again for listening to this two-minute drill.